Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you a tour of my new craft art studio and I'm also going to be showing you how I designed this room. I've actually been filming this video over the past four days so I will have the furniture and the antiques and things that I bought in the description box below if you want to see where I got these items um, and I'll have links to the websites as well. So I started this YouTube channel around four years ago and I'm starting to turn it into a small business. I've got my shop now and I just recently opened up a Patreon. So this isn't just a craft room for me. This is also going to be my shop and a little business space for myself. So I'm really excited. It feels new. We've just moved from Sydney to Brisbane. So it feels like I've finally accomplished something great. Um, having an entire room. I've never had anything like this before. Um, so let's get started on the video and I'll show you how I I designed this room and in my next video I'm actually going to list all my stationary products and give a more of a in detail tour of all the stationery that I have in this room um, so this one's going to be more of an organizing and setup and design video and then you can see the next video hopefully I'll post that one next week um, but yeah let's get started and I'll show you guys around Welcome to Brisbane. This is my new apartment and we're currently standing in my art studio slash craft room. So here's what it looks like. I've just got a few things from Ikea today. I wanted to quickly show you my apartment while it's empty because this first video is actually just going to be us putting everything together and then I'll show you a little tour of my art room slash craft room once it's all done. So this is where we're currently staying, just on a block mattress. And then once I finish designing, I can show you the finished result. And there's Den. <laughs> so um, I'm just gonna do a bit of a montage for the rest of this video and you'll see me setting this room up. Um, and then in my part two, I'll show you how I organize all my stationery. But so far on the ground, I've just brought a few things up, but I've got about 10 times more stationery ready to come into this room so I can show you all that. Um, and yeah, I'll show you my setup. So let's get started.
So this is how the room layout is going to be. I've got another chest of drawers to go here. Um, and then I think I'm going to put a picture on the wall, most likely this one up here. I think that's going to look really nice. And then this one over here, I'm thinking it's going to look nice up here with a few things stuck onto it, or maybe even here. What looks better? I think that looks better. Yeah, I think this looks better here. And then I've got all of this space free if I want to do things. Um, especially if I want to film and I want to have a desk that I can put here or like something white. Uh, but I think it's looking good so far. I haven't finished it completely. I still have a few things to get um, down at the car but I'll show you what it looks like on the sides. So this is the side view of the table. This is actually when you walk into the room this is the first thing you'll see. But so far I've got the trolley on the side. I really like how the desk is to this side of the window. Um, I've still got all that space down there where I'm going to put my chest of drawers and then I'm going to have things at the back of the desk. So I like that it's really long so I can have things at the back um, but I haven't figured out that layout yet. I'm going to put a few more things on the windowsill but I think a simple plan across here and my little mushrooms are going to look really cute. And then I'm going to have these little plants somewhere but I haven't decided how I'm going to lay them out yet. But this whole desk is going to be rearranged. And then I thought I'll take it off tripod to show you what's on this side. So as you can see, I've got this shelf that's from Ikea. I'm kind of liking how this top looks at the moment. I'm probably going to rearrange this a bit more. And I got a lot of these vintage pieces from an antique short store. Um, I'm pretty sure it was in Alexandria in Sydney. As well as this cabinet at the back and those trunks and then my Frankie magazines this layout so this layout needs to be changed heaps but I do want to have like stacks of books plants and this cage where I can put my mail and then at the bottom here I've got this timber box and then I've just got bits and pieces that I need to rearrange so I'm gonna go grab the rest of the stationery from my car now and I'm going to do a bit of rearranging and then I'll leave it tonight until I've unpacked everything. But so far, I'm liking the look of how it's turning out. Also, if you're wondering why I'm talking really weird and I've got sort of a lisp, I've got a really big ulcer on the side of my lip here, so I haven't been able to speak much today because it keeps rubbing on my tooth. So I have a bit of a lisp if you're wondering why it's really hard for me to talk. Um, and lastly, I just forgot to show you, I've got a tr uh, my typewriter under here and I've still got these two little boxes to make. So that's one of the last boxes left. I'll just quickly show you. I've also got this stand-up desk. So that's what it will look like when it's up. And then I can put it back down, but I haven't figured out which position I'm going to put it in. Also, I think the chest of drawers are going to have to go on this side. Just because we've got this wall here that I can actually sit next to. Because the cupboard goes all the way to the edge on that side. And then this picture I really wanted to show you guys. I got it from an antique shop. And it's absolutely beautiful. Well, I think so. <laughs> Anywho, that's it for tonight. Happy with it all? I'm just filming. Yeah, how cool is it? It's turned up desk. And then I'm going to design it. Probably next time you see me. So I don't know if this is going to be the end of part one or if this is just the first half of the video but so far this is majority of my stationery and I should design it in the next couple of days. So I'll see you guys then. Night. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so it's day two of the move and we just got a, um, a chest of drawers up and they had all this stationery inside but as you can see I'll show you. They all broke. So I've got to get a new set of drawers now. Um, but yeah, a lot more stationery came out of there. Hi guys and welcome back to either day two or part two of this video. 
Um, I've just fixed these drawers down here. They all broke in the move. Um, so I had to screw them all back together. They're still a little bit wobbly. Some of them aren't very sturdy. I got it, I actually made it, um, it was a flat pack to begin with. I think it was from Kmart. So that's why they're pretty dodgy. I also just finished off these two crates yesterday. Um, and I'm going to be putting up them up in my shell somewhere. But this afternoon, I'm actually just going to start organising it all and seeing where I want everything to be. So hopefully all of the shop stuff is going to be around the desk so I can easily grab it. And then the bigger stuff and more display stuff is going to be up here. So I'm going to do again some music and I'll hopefully have this finished either this afternoon or tomorrow. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see Hold my hand and hear the words I say Close your eyes and let us fade away Build a secret place for you and me Let our minds be caught up in a dream So I've been organizing this room for hours and I feel like the more I take out of boxes the more stuff I keep finding so I've only really done that top shelf there and starting to work on this top shelf and it's taking me so long because I'm like pulling everything apart and then organizing everything it's now 8 30 at night and I've been organizing for the last I would say three hours because I had dinner in between I've been going through these boxes, so I've been emptying a lot of things. Even though it doesn't look like I've made much progression, um, I've actually opened everything up. So even though everything was in a lot of bags, I've laid a lot of things on the ground. So it may look a little bit messier, but I've actually put a lot of things away. So I thought I'd give you a bit of an update of these drawers because I've been putting lots of things in here. These are actually going to be my paper dr junk drawers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put all my loose bits of paper 
um, in here that I think I want to kind of go through every time I make snail mail or like journal spreads. So this one is, oh, it's stuck already. This one's going to be more of like a craft drunk junk drawer. That's hard to say. <laughs> so although it looks messy, trust me, it's organized. I know what's inside. And then again, this one's stacks of books and papers. So things like these like little flow books that I can rip apart, color in and create things from, they all are going in here. So I kind of like that I've now got a spot for all of those loose bits of paper and things that I can rummage through for scrapbooking. So it's now quarter past nine and I've finished this side of the room. Um, I still have a few decorative bits to put on top of these drawers here. Um, and I've also still got to figure out a few decorative bits for the front there and maybe just something on the front of here just so it doesn't look so deep. And then I've also got an empty space there that I might put some of this stuff. I also sorted out all of these drawers and this top drawer here is all of my shop products. So I've got like papers, envelopes, stickers and washi tape and then I've got also some washi tape up here too. And then as you can see down here, I sorted out all of my books, my school books and some, these are basically filled with, um, with mail that I've got over the years. So they're just little folders and then these I've still got to sort through. It's a lot of just like little bits of paper basically. I just wanted to quickly show you, I've got some art supplies for my school in here. So I decided to put my school stuff in here because I'm doing an art therapy course. So it's just like paints and oil pastels and things like that. This big box here and this bag um, are full of like promotional stuff. So things that companies has sent me that I need a review and actually this box here is um, my products from my shop so it's from an independent Australian artist that I'm going to be showing you guys soon and then I can open this whole bag up and show you what's inside um, and film that promo video and then I also got this from my sister so my sister st started a Scentsy business and on the front I got the Be Kind, I don't know if you can see that, I'll show you guys in another video. And then she's so cute, she sent me her favourite samples, or well, didn't send it to me, she actually came over the other day because she lives here now. So she gave me her favourite samples and she made this adorable little pack up. How lovely is that? I think she's going to send these out to her customers so I can't wait to open up this little Be Kind. A um, little warmer, so it's a wax melt, and um, you just put these little um, wax, um, they like smelly scents, I should say. I don't even know, I'm really tired at the moment. And then um, I'm going to read through her little pack soon and put a little business card in my journal. I just think it's really sweet of her, and I can't wait to open this one up. This is the one I've been waiting for, the Be Kind one. Morning, so it's day three now. Um, and I've just bought some command, um, they're kind of like hooks, so what I've got, they're strips, and you put them on the back of frames, so you don't actually have to hook them, and then when you peel them away, they don't peel off the paint. So I've got a whole bunch of these, and I've got a bunch of frames as well. I also got this one from Ikea, and I'm going to start sticking some things on there as well today.
honestly, it doesn't look too bad with just the one print next to the board. Once I fill the board up, it's going to look very busy. So maybe it's going to look better without the second one. <laughs> and then I'll show you the other one. So here's the other one here, it's just next to the door. I think it looks quite cute. Hi guys and welcome to day four of filming. Today I'm going to do my desk and my trolley and then I'm going to organize all the stationery on the ground. Um, so I'll show you what I want to put on my desk. So I found these from the antique store. I've also got this big box here which is a drawer and then over here I found these also from the antique store and I really want to put all my favorite um, stationery like all the small bits and pieces on there. Then I've got things like plants and then I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the rest of it. I think the rest of it's going on my trolley.
Alrighty, so I'm nearly done now. I've only got a few bits and pieces on the ground. Um, I've got these two sorted to put on the desk. I've just cleaned this up. Don't know if you can see it very well, but I'm going to have all my stamps on there. I think it's just an old filing cabinet. And then out on the balcony here. We've still got a lot of unpacking to do. But look at our cute little bed all made up. So I've got these that I'm going to sand down. So I just wanted to do a little before and after. Over the last four days, I've been showing you the progression of what's on the floor. <laughs> so I'm so happy to show you that nothing is left. I've organized everything now. So it is a completely organized room now. Oh, look how nice that looks. I'm loving it. All right, let me give you the tour. <laughs> So I just finished organizing the desk and I'm really, really happy with it. I put some pens in this clear, um, it is a pen organizer or desk organizer, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I've just got a few bits and pieces in there like staples and white out. Little totterer here on the front. And then I've got my drawers with lots of different papers that I need to actually organize a bit better later on. Um, and then I've got all my little figures, so a lot of Ghibli Studios and um, little bits and pieces that I got from Japan. And then my money box here, that one was actually just from Daiso. I've had this case for a while. Um, I think I got it from an op shop. And then these turned out really well and I put lots of different things inside. So as you can see, washi tapes, um, the wax seal stampers, teas, um, again, little figurines and my traveler's notebook. 
I really, really like this because I can just easily grab things and it's also really good to have things that um, prompt you to be more creative. I just showed you in detail all the stamps and then I've got my plants at the side here and some more drawers that need a lot of organising. So that is my desk. I hope you like it. I'll show you my little space on this side. So I've got obviously my little trolley at the corner there, the prints that we put up the other day and then my chair underneath I actually just have my little stand-up desk and then a timber bin on this side of the chair so that's my view out the window and then that's my setup there now I've got my tripod because I'm probably going to be using that like every day and then I showed you guys this already this side in detail but I've got the typewriter in here are all my paper lover books so when I do my stationary tour, I'll show you all of the bits and pieces that I've got in all of these tubs and drawers in detail because I've got stationary in all of these drawers. So I'm not going to go through it in this video, but if you guys want to see the next one, I will show you all my stationary. Again, I got this little camera from an antique store and this um, music box actually sings a song out of Spirited Away. My Frankie's up there, my little... Um, Dobby is from the Harry Potter world. I think it's Universal Studios in America. I got that one from. My terrarium that's getting very big and wild. <laughs> um, these little lollies are out of the Ghibli Studio uh, movie. I think it's called um, Flight of the Flyerflies. I can't remember anymore. But I haven't watched that movie in such a long time. It's not on Netflix. And then my little mushrooms, I got these ones in the other day and I actually filmed them in my studio vlog. And then more stationery on this little bench here, this bench down here. And then I put a lot of miscellaneous things down here, but I really like that I've got a lot of space on the floor as well to put things. So I think that's how I want everything to be organised on this side nice and neat and I'm pretty sure I like this setup and that's completely done too. So yeah, that is my video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little tour and me setting up over the last four days and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.